From questions over good to go to pages and pages of private emails entered as evidence, all eyes this week have been on the courthouse in Ottawa, where former Harper Chief of Staff Nigel Wright took the stand in Mike Duffy's fraud trial here with us. And with his take on what all of this means out on the campaign trail is Scott Reid. Thanks for being with us. And, and let me ask you, because there was so much anticipation about, oh my gosh, the Duffy trial, oh my gosh, in the middle of the campaign, yeah. finally the star witness takes a stand. What did we learn and how does it change things if it does? Well, we don't know if it's going to change things yet, but it is certainly growing uncomfortable for the Prime Minister. Yesterday was a bad day for the Conservatives because of the Duffy trial and the cross-examination of Nigel Wright. And I think it's going to be a bad day again today, and who knows, maybe that will continue on for a few days as Mr. Wright continues to be cross-examined. Here's the, here's the real problem, Bev. Um, and it's, it's sort of twofold. One, there's a new hook now. We don't have a smoking gun, but we have a new hook. And the new hook is not only did Nigel Wright know that he wrote the $90,000 check, for which he eventually was sacked, but it turns out now, by virtue of the email trail, that a number of people who continue to be senior aides, working for the Prime Minister, helping to run this election campaign, also were aware of the $90,000 check. There's a lot of people that knew about it. A lot of people knew about it. A lot of people are big players, including his current chief of staff. And... They obviously, therefore, must have conspired to keep that fact from the Prime Minister. So if he thinks it is outrageous that this occurred in the first place, and as a matter of principle, he wanted to see Mr. Wright fired, which, by the way, doesn't entirely correspond with the mm. record, um, then how is it that it's appropriate for those people to continue to work in and around him? And the Prime Minister is going to get that question. He got it yesterday. He's going to get it more sharply today. And it's uncomfortable for the Prime Minister. And it means that this is going to overshadow the campaign. The only saving grace is the election isn't till the 19th of October. Yeah, right. So there's time. Tell me about what they, you know, what other candidates could do with this. I mean, clearly, you know, they've used it. Well, Mulcair yeah. certainly has in his TV ads about the Senate scandal. But what could they use from this particular, what we've learned so far? Well, I, I think you know, there's a couple of things. First, there's an old saying in politics, which is don't get in your opponent's way when they're in the business of blowing themselves up. So uh, aid this story. Don't compete with this story. So there's no point in going on the campaign trail right now when we know that the national media is focused on this and they're going to follow up those questions uh, to Mr. Harper. So stay on Duffy, stay on Wright, stay on the culture of the PMO if you're one of his opponents. I'll, in particular, like again, take a look at it. It may be that there's no new particular fact, but... The email and mm -hmm. the crush mm -hmm. of all of this, the story it tells with respect to the culture within the prime minister's office, right? It's one of say anything, do anything, stop at nothing. And if I was one of his opponents, I would be pounding away on that, knowing that that's where the media is at, that's where the wound is freshest, so poke at it. Interesting that while this is all going on, since it's, you know, early days of this portion of the trial, that then in the Liberal campaign, there was a major policy announcement to the tune of a billion dollars yesterday. Yeah, and, you know, that may have been that they had their, you know, sometimes you map your schedule out and then it's a question of how flexible are you. It may be that it's a reflection of what was happening in the Liberal campaign. You know, Mr. Trudeau made some comments about, you know, growing the economy from the heart outwards. Maybe they wanted to put something else in the window very rapidly. Who knows? But I, I'll say this. I think there are now... A couple of really uncomfortable questions for the Prime Minister, and I'd be surprised if the NDP and Liberal campaigns didn't stick with Duffy. I, mean, I think it's really awkward. Last night, the Prime Minister's office was forced to come out and say, there are emails that suggest that his current chief of staff, Ray Novak, knew about the $90,000 check and didn't tell the Prime Minister. Mr. Novak was not aware of that email, independent of the fact that it's there. How they reconcile those things, I don't know. Stephen Harper's line when asked about this yes. consistently is this. I didn't know about the $90,000 check. When I found out about it, I made it public. Even that, frankly, is not true. I don't know if the Prime Minister thinks his name is Bob Fife, <laughs> but it was our own Bob Fife who made, who made that public. check public. So uh -huh. it was only after the cigarette lighter was underneath them that the government said, OK, let's start spilling out some facts here. Oh, it's it's going to be tough times for them. And interesting times ahead for sure. Thanks for coming in. You bet.